is this year the new ultimate camper van and we also have the ultimate camping location at least if you want something with a view. This is here the VW T7 California in its final version and with Thomas and Artigo Fuel we're going in depth on all the functions in 4K full screen full length. Let's go! You can see here the base on the T7, the multi-van this generation, LED, optional matrix LED, the IQ light and this is here a uh, starlight blue color together with what, what the, how did they call it Leah? Um, crispy candy or white candy? Uh, white candy? Uh, candy, white. candy white. Candy white. <laughs> so candy white and starlight blue. Yeah, really nice names and yeah I try to dress somehow accordingly here for this uh, laser episode so to speak. 5 meters 17 or 204 inches is the length. So you remember maybe the T7 has two different lengths. This of course you're building on the longer overhang length then to have more space on the interior and of course every California version has this roof, this extendable roof. At the moment it's already on top. We have also some nice shots where we go uh, up and down and so on and it's available in a manual or in an electric way. You can choose that then. You can activate from the inside but there will also be then later on an app functionality that you can do it via app. This is of course pretty cool. 19 inch wheels here in this case. These are the biggest wheels available if you want some well some more cooler look actually. We're also soon going in depth on the engines and so on. On the rear well this all in the lower part looks like a normal T7 just the big California badge right here. On the other side we have the Marquis and this has a new functionalities. First of all there are locks here so, so no one can steal it actually but then when you use the key you can actually take off the marquee easily without using any tools because if you maybe don't use it like in winter time or something for a couple of months also cause some fuel so you can demount it and then you can also of course you know when you have to you know take this right party off you can roll it actually out. Then on the side here is the fuel cap in this case it's a diesel version but there will be petrol and plug-in hybrid I have to tell you it is actually big news for the plug-in hybrid because this plug-in hybrid will be all-wheel drive for the first time in this combination so this will also be big news for all other Volkswagen models soon more deals on that and this is here then the external power supply and talking about batteries it's really funny because this vehicle here is available uh, yeah I even shocked the product manager with that uh, earlier on with two three or four batteries. Why is that? So the 12 volt starter battery for the you know, like for the basic things like every car has is standard. Then you have an additional camper battery and if you have here the ocean or this like standard one then you have the external power supply you can get that also optional for the other California models. You have a second battery so as soon as you get the external power supply you have two camping batteries just to double the capacity and when you then have the plug-in hybrid you have a high voltage battery then which is actually 11 kilowatt AC charging, 50 kilowatt DC charging, now 20 kilowatt hours net like the new Tiguan, like the new Passat and so on only that it also comes with electric all-wheel drive so electric power in the rear. This will be very exciting and I'm looking forward when it will also come to other models than in the Volkswagen Corporation. Of course the interior that's all about that today here we go, so sliding doors on both sides, either here manual, it's also all electric possible and there you can see this is special to the ocean. So in general the California is the camper van with the extended roof but then the ocean is special that you have this full kitchenette right here. Other models would be the coast like in between and the entry model is the California beach also going to show that to you later with a little bit more basic functions just a small kitchen in the rear and so on this is the differentiation. Here you can see at the moment this working place is kind of like extended here from the kitchen but this table here is actually quite flexible because they thought hey we will want to make this vehicle here also for outside living. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go yeah some things you try before and then still they don't work so there we go it's actually very easy so, so this is then now like the outside table and then you can maybe add some chairs right here and then have the picnic when you just reach over the things. Talking about chairs by the way, let's check these out because that's actually a quite cool function. So when we go to the rear hatch, 
This is not available electric, but as it is with the T7, because the chairs would be just too heavy for the electric function. And then, yeah, maybe you guess now what's underneath here. Could there maybe be some chairs underneath? <laughs> yes, they are. And that's a good thing here. They are being held tight. This additional security. So, and that way I slide them out. There we go. And they have been upgraded as well. They are more stable. It's really high quality. And they are actually also higher than here now. So it's also better than for tall people. They're actually pretty cozy. So yeah, that's that's really a cool thing. And they are very secure as well. They are also, you cannot put them in like this again. There's this security pull like here. And then you can look at that, how they fold across. Of course, maybe don't let the kids do it. So there we go, pretty easy solution. And yeah, these are actually standard for every California. And then you can easily store them in placing. And I felt it's a good thing. You don't have to, you know, like maneuver them around a lot um, when you put them in like this. Then here yeah, they're already being held tight. And then you just add this additional security right here. There we go. And close the whole thing again. And starting here at the rear on the interior, look at that. So in the top part, there's one drawer already, like this. Underneath here, what you have hidden is, so that's a little bit tricky here. There we go. And then you have the shower head right here, because this shower head you can attach right here. And this then the lever for the pump. It's then also here the water tank for the fresh water. And then you can actually have a shower right here uh, in the rear. So that's actually a, a cool thing. You have more storage than underneath like this. And on top here, so um, first of all, there's the table underneath. And this is then the bed for the lower area. So here the ocean. It's of course limited, a little bit limited in width as for the sleeping area in the lower part because you have the kitchen on this side. By the way, here with more drawers for clothes and so on. It's like one and the second one. So of course, oh, sorry about that. The second one, better access than from the interior. And then you have the, you know, you know like a little bit narrower bed. When you go for the beach model, you have the full width, not only for length, but also full width. And then here with the, o with the ocean, California. Uh, oh, wrong way. There we go. Here are some side storages as well. So maybe like for the other person to sort that out. And once again, in the beach, you have them on both sides. So it's really the question, are you more, you know, like of a cooking person? Then you would go for the ocean. And if cooking is not so important for you, you want more flexibility, more space on the interior, also for sleeping, maybe like with four people on the inside, then you would rather go for the beach model. And there we go. Yeah, it's actually like with 189, six foot two. Can not directly stand underneath here, but here actually. By the way, you can also use this uh, this additional shade here. Of course, at the moment, why would they do that? Yes, of course, when it's closed and you want to sleep at night and it's maybe, you know, there's a light or something, you can have your interior in the lower part completely dark. I'm talking about that. There are also nice solutions for that. So because I prepared something else for you. This is like a really, like, like a Thomas working episode today. So here, there were some different shades available in the previous generation. Now they have upgraded them with some magnets. And so here we go for this side. See here, these magnets. Yeah, Leah loves it. Clicking sounds. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. clicking sounds as well. So here we go. And there's you know, there's, there's, there's no light coming through then. So that's a nice solution for both sides. It's, a, it's available with magnets. So this then the one for the other side. You can also put them the other way around if you want to have um, this side on the outside. It could also be possible. Um, then I would use this one that is actually for the other one, for the other side, just like this. Because when it's really hot outside, it's maybe good because this does not attract the sun, maybe like reflects or something. And then we have this really, really large shade here for the front window. Here, this is like where the mirror comes. And this not works with magnets, but here, you know, you push these here in. However, I do recommend doing that with two persons. Maybe Leah helps, helps me for a second here, right? 
So we mounted the front shade now like this with the bright side on the outside. You can see this also reflects. It's actually good to keep the sun out. And yeah, what I also want to show you, look at Leah's outfit today. It, it also fits completely to the vehicle. Candy Usually, white or <laughs> Yeah, candy white. That's <laughs> also here to the sunshade, right? So uh, usually I dress according to the vehicle, but here now it fits very well. Also here, this is a bright leatherette actually. And then the front seats, you can see here, gray fabric, again with a bright leatherette, California lettering. And this is then how it looks like from the interior when it's all shaded black and dark like this. Here then with the bright side. So both is possible, actually. I'm telling you guys, Leah is totally into it. So she's already enjoying <laughs> some of the features here, like the side window. Yeah, she totally loves this thing. <laughs> kitchen area let's go so first of all here in the top part pull up here the gas cooker and also here then the fresh water with clicking design <laughs> in the sink it's really interesting then you can slide this here open there's space for the you know, all the forks and knives and so on cutlery USB-C charger and the 230 volt charger and underneath here there's then the used water tank. Then there's an additional drawer right here as well. Oh, and Leah will now show us one of the most important features. There we go. There's the fridge and it is quite large indeed. And this then here, this floor you can put in because maybe things fall into these rails, uh, maybe from the kids and so on. So it's maybe something's good when it's covered and yeah. And we can maybe clean the carpet or exchange it at some point. And if you want to slide the seats forward, here you can also fold it forward like this, and then this or this styling. Or you can also do it the other way around, like this, for example. You can slide these seats forward. They are kind of narrow in this multi van generation, you have to say, but it works still for tall L's. Isofix in here for the kids. And the crucial thing is now when I want to fold down the lower bed there's a lot going on with these seats here of course two in the ocean beach there would be three seats and no side kitchen and now of course we have two bed possibilities so the easier more accessible one when we have the roof open is of course first of all the bed in the top and at this moment everything is up and with 189 I can still stand underneath it even actually here, back here, so that's really, really high and even higher, of course, than to this area. And I can just pull this whole bed then down against the gas struts like this. So now here on the top bed, it's astonishingly cozy. And the reason for that are these, you know, like these additional cushions below, so to speak. And they are a little bit like my mattress I have at home, just that they're like, you know, like smaller plates of that. But this is working very, very well. And then, minus on top, this adapts more to your body, like the hip area and also the, the shoulder area and so on. So I would definitely prefer sleeping here on top. And also, especially, of course, like when it's really cold, then it might be a problem. When it's really hot, then just open here inside, have some fresh breeze inside, mosquito net uh, in front of it. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And of course, more light. And if you need more light at night, you have the light switches right here and also 12 volt power supply. And on the other side, you have a USB-C charger that you can charge your smartphone and watch Autogefühl on YouTube all night while camping. So by the way, next to that first layer here, of course, you can also open that whole thing here if you really want even more air and even more view and it's really warm and yeah, maybe there's a nice summer evening and hey, you can stand here like a captain of a boat or something. It's beautiful. What a view here in the southern Spain area. So beautiful, actually. Yeah, and of course, if you think about it, maybe you had a nice candlelight dinner and um, yeah, then you're maybe not only standing here, but put the bed down again. Um, yeah, you can take place there and maybe next to each other and then enjoy the sunset and yeah, maybe enjoy even something more. Guys, you got to see this, this perspective. <laughs> that must, that must, have you ever seen this perspective? 
like Thomas, upside down, and then the cockpit in the right order. When you see it from here, like from my perspective, look down to the cockpit. Wow, this is an amazing perspective. We need these kinds of shots in auto review, definitely. And by the way, if Leah is annoyed at some point from my car reviews, there she is, then she can just close this thing here. Yeah, and then I'm muted. Let's see how quickly I can prepare this lower bed now. So I slide these seats forward. Then this is how you control the upper angle. But then to fold them flat, you use this strap here, pull the seats down. And what you should also do is here, remove the top head restraints, either put them somewhere away or move them around like this to the back side. This is also a storage idea. Let's take it that way. So depending on... There we go. <laughs> yeah, Leah is now making fun of me. So here we go. This way they fold all the way down. You can, of course, also remove the whole um, carpet here or something. So this is the one thing. And then you have to do the same thing with the second seat. Now, the, the thing is the carpet is a little bit in the way then. So there we go, second seat. Once again, head restraint. Oh, <laughs> other way in, <laughs> around. So this is a very fun episode for the viewer, definitely. So here we go. This is not as flat as the other one, right? Look at that. Not sure where, where that is actually uh, at the moment, actually. Hmm. Ah, there we go. So side one also. This one here. There we go. So now it's all the way flat. And now we can unlock these here. There we go. These and these. And then I can pull this whole thing over. Like this. Oh, by the way, here. There's another drawer right here. Pretty large as well. It's a practical solution. So then we have our second bed here. No part. Taking off the shoes again. So this is then just the mattress. Underneath, there's of course just like the hard table, so we don't have these you know, additional adaptive parts underneath. But yeah, it's still fairly comfortable, and it's also wide and um, wide enough, I, I would say, for two adults. Again, the beach version, where I don't have the kitchenette on the on the one side, would have a wider area here. I would actually prefer to sleep on the top part because it's just a little bit softer underneath. But then again, maybe if you go some winter camping, the lower part might be a solution or if you just are you know, with, with more people and so on. So the flexibility is really very nice and everything, how it is built, how it's designed, it really gives you a good quality impression. You will be able to use your smartphone with the app at some point, not directly from the beginning. But here, this is the second option. There's like this integrated smartphone in the vehicle, fresh water, wastewater, and also second battery. And you can also activate some lights then from here or go to the settings and they can also adjust the basic stuff. For example, there's always this home menu, the second one here as well. You cannot activate the roof from here, by the way, from for safety reasons, you have to do it from the front. This is just like how it is. But I mean, why would they do that? Because you can obviously see if it's open or not, right? Um, yeah, and here, for example, you can also uh, change the AC. Of course, you're also going to drive this one and here the cockpit. It's actually pretty clean. A lot of storage is there. Here on the top part, there's a storage box. And I really love this top structure here. That feels really nice. Although it's hard, the structure itself is pretty nice. There's a proper head-up display that's projected into the windscreen. Digital instruments, steering wheel up and down, in and out, easily done like that. Then storage more here on the top part, a very tiny one though. And then the normal glove box in the lower part next to, you know, like for the smartphone here. And then you can fold down these. These are then adaptive cup holders, electric parking brake. That's why everything is kind of cleaned up here as well. And then the shift, shifting process here, reverse, D, and also the S mode, the sport mode, and real button still on the steering wheel here, for example, for the volume and here for the cruise control and infotainment system. You also have this app view. The only thing is, you know, that since my brother is owning a T7, he reported to me that there are often software failures still, so I hope they can fix that with an upgrade. 
here also seat heating. So the thing is that sometimes the system just crashes. That has been a problem with VW and this software version is not on the newest one that for example the electric models of the, uh, you know, uh, of Volkswagen have. Here the sliders, temperature sliders, left and right. And here plus minus for the audio when something is running like this, but it's also possible on the steering wheel. And this is then here for the top roof to put it up or down. But there are very th important things to consider there. Yes, and indeed, very important things to, it's like, you know, like in a James Bond movie, <laughs> the very old ones. So here we go. So it's always good that you can move the seat around and also up and down now in this generation. The thing is when putting the roof up or down to consider, especially when you put it down again, so there need to be the possibility that the air can go out of the sides. So you always need to have a door open, a window lower, Otherwise, there's like a, you know, a sur surplus on pressure on the inside of the cabin when the roof comes down. And also all the shades and so on need to be up that nothing gets you know, knitted around and so on. So really important that there's nothing in the way. The roof itself, like the, the, you know, the in-between roof is down. There's something open that the air can go out and then you can also um, put it down. There's also like an additional safety mechanism that is like an in instrument asking you, have you considered all these aspects? And it works. Engine lineup, 2 liter TDI, the diesel, 150 horsepower, or the 2 liter TSI, turbo petrol engine, 200 horsepower. Here, by the way, fill in for the wiper fluid, and even more horsepower, 245 horsepower for the 1.5 TSI plug in hybrid. That's big news because now also connected with an all wheel drive, so electric drive on the rear axle. First time in the whole Volkswagen setup and also with 245 horsepower, so even more punch than definitely. And let's see if that this will also come for the other models. 20 kilowatt hour battery net and 11 kilowatt AC charging, 50 kilowatt DC charging. So a very nice proposition. I think the plug-in hybrid here in this case is way to go. So now you might ask yourself, why are they not using the high voltage battery for the camping mode? The most, you know, you know, realistic explanation for that is the warranty because they give a certain warranty on the battery for like a how many kilometers you can drive, how many years you can use it and so on for the car usage. But when they, they then also use it very often for vehicle to load, then they cannot really calculate with that. So my estimation is then that this could theoretically change at some point, but more for vehicles that are already you know, like laid out to do that. Here, of course, they use the same battery technology for all the different vehicles. When you have like a pure electric vehicle with the vehicle to load function, then it's more set up that the vehicle to load function is also used very often. So here then they decided to go for the way to have the separate camping battery, that the high voltage battery is only for the drivetrain. By the way, this here additional equipment, look at that. Here, the side window in the lower part can also stay open and the window is just open until here. And now you think the ocean is maybe a little bit too expensive or you don't need the full kitchen. You want more flexibility and more seats? Well, then this could be something for you. This is here the California Beach in the camper version as well. Let's check out how is it actually different. So this would be then something around 60,000 euros in the entry, whereas 80,000 euros at least you go with the California Ocean and a full equipped California Ocean is more than 100,000 euros. So this then, let's say a little bit more basic. Here then, manual sliding doors, also on both sides. It's always standard for every California. And now it gets interesting. So whereas with the Ocean, we only have four seats because you have the kitchen here at the side. Here you do not have the kitchen at the side, therefore you can also fit these five seats, for example. Maximum seat configuration for a California would be six seats, actually. So, see here, this is like the camping setup where we have the two forward seat rotated. And once again, the cool thing about this new version is, before you had to decide between rotation of the front seats and adjusting in height. Now both is actually possible. Here in the middle seat, you can take all of these seats out. That's a cool thing. And they are a little bit lighter than before. Now the question is because in the back part here, we still have a bed. So there's a bed here in the lower part. And this one in here with this seating setup, the lower bed is wider than in the ocean. Plus we have the additional bed on top. There we go. 
That's why we can also push that up. California always has this, you know, additional roof, of course. So then there's very, you know, a lot of space here. These seats here are all adjustable, front and back and so on. And it's actually fairly easy to take this seat out because if we want to fold the bed, we have to do the following. So we have to fold this one here down, the middle part. It's like an easy fold. And then I can have like this, it says this red strap and then I can fold it out. Yeah, maybe little, go a little bit into the knees so that not too much press on the lower back. It's of course heavy, yes, but not as heavy as before. So and now I set it just reverse and I can pull it up again like this and slide it forward. So because the bed then will come right here because this seat here, the middle one, let's show you why, this one here, that's the maximum thing, you know? So this is not possible to put the bed up, uh, up on that one otherwise because these seats here are a little bit different. So these I pull forward, like this. Then I push them, there we go. Push them all the way down like this here with this middle strap that this seat does not have. Put these head restraints either completely out or what you can also do is fold them to the other side <laughs> like this. So yeah, this review is all about Thomas workout. So with this one, it's clearly easier on this side here to put the head restraint out. Then we are even right here. And then we can also fold the bed now. Attention. There we go. Yeah, Leah is also helping me. There we go. So then, this is the big difference because this lower bed and here in this configuration uses the whole width. And that's, of course, pretty cool. The only thing is this is, let's say, only a mattress, whereas in the top part, we also, you know, have this additional support underneath. And what's also, you know, a good thing with this one, you have like these storage bags on each side, so both the sides here, when you don't have the full kitchen. And here, you can see here from the rear, so this is rather hard than underneath. This is the additional table you can fold out and you still have the possibility to have some kind of a small kitchen in the rear. This is here then for storage, for example. And here we go, the top part then for cooking, you fold up this and then you have a small gas cooker right in here. So this would be then the reverse or rear kit. Ah, you have to put this one in, then you can put it in. So. Yeah, for sleeping, the thing is that here it's definitely wider. So that's the, that's the cool thing. Um, so, I mean, four adults can sleep in this vehicle, definitely. I mean, it would theoretically also be possible with the, <laughs> with the ocean here, in, um, you know, on, on the back part in the rear. Um, yeah, but this is just, you know, a little bit wider, more flexible with that. From the seating comfort, by the way, if we compare it top to bottom, I mean, this, this mattress here is not too bad, though, I have to say. And maybe you can also put something else, you know, from your, from, you know, just some equipment underneath or something. So here again, underneath for more comfort. That's actually a very good idea. And then up on top, of course, a little bit cozier here. Ah, you, yeah, you feel the difference. Definitely. Underneath the mattress, yeah. Especially when, you, uh, when you're someone who is sleeping on the side. That makes a lot of difference than, you know, with the spine and so on and with your hips. Where did this head come from? Well, anyways, <laughs> let's check it out here in the rear hatch. Hidden storage space here for ta -da, two camping chairs. And they are actually very good in the quality, very stable as well. So here we go. They also have a security. Yeah. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> I really like the individual details they put in there and also what they have improved over time. The small solutions, that's really awesome. And yeah, interesting with the plug-in hybrid drivetrain. Yeah, sadly, you cannot use the high voltage battery for camping. That would have been even better for, you know, more, more autonomy. Yeah, sadly not possible. But besides that, I really like the whole concept, what they have done here with this vehicle in that final version now not a concept anymore and 
I've driven the T7 in general, by the way, if you want to check out that video, it's not allowed to call it T7 anymore because Ford owns the copyright to that. So we can say T7, VW, you won't find any website where it says T7, so they just say multi-event California so that you just know that. And we have V-Class videos as well for the competitors and soon also going to take on the Marco Polo. 